I'm here at Bread and Salt in Jersey City, a bakery where people line up to get a taste of, and today we're cutting the line. Rick, I am so excited to be here. I've heard so many great things about Bread and Salt. You've been open for four years, but just recently people started lining up to come and try. Why are people so excited? I mean, so we were very busy from day one, okay. but it was a very different business okay. then. At, at that point, it was more focused on pizza, and then of course COVID changed all of that, and we figured out a way to serve more people a greater variety of stuff. You're only open Friday through Sunday. Yeah. Tell me why, and do you think that is making you more enticing for the neighborhood? Because there's kind of like this, this forbidden, you can only get it at a certain time nature of your business. I mean, I think possibly. I think uh, it also makes people furious in some <laughs> regard. So I think it's like maybe goes both ways. Okay. Everybody here works very, very long days on those days. I mean, it's funny because the question is, everybody's like, what do you do the rest of the week? I would love to say I was out on my boat, <laughs> but here, I'm here. Tell me about the process of making this focaccia, this bread, and what sets it apart. Well, I mean, a couple of things. Uh, it's all a very, very long process. The bread's all somewhere around 18 to 24 hours, which makes stuff a little lighter, more flavorful. All right, this, my mouth is watering, so I gotta just... This is mortadella on pizza bianca. That's it, it's mortadella, olive oil. Okay. But it is a, it's an absolute classic. It's my favorite sandwich on the menu. This is excellent. The crispiness is like ideal for a sandwich. It's very light, that's yeah. the idea. Light, easy to eat. And light makes me feel like there's less calories, so it's helpful. cheers to that, yeah. Some focaccia barese with tomatoes and olives. I know it's all over my face and I don't even care. This one's kind of special. It's a vegetable called a carosello, which is kind of an unripe melon that kind of serves the role of a cucumber. It's a pugliese variety, and it's grown by good friends of ours at Campo Rosso Farm in Pennsylvania. It's very refreshing. Yeah. And I love the simplicity too. That's the kind of idea behind the whole place is we use really, really nice ingredients and try to stay out of the way. And then of course, which is the, the number one selling item in the entire shop is uh, our, our bomboloni. I came for the bread and the sandwiches, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming back for the pastries. There you go. Thank you so much. Oh, this looks incredible. The coffee here is really special. Some people come here just for coffee. Um, it is all roasted by Capacity Coffee, which is run by Nicholas, who is the guy who brought the coffee out. Oh, that's really good. That's like a, a dessert, too. Okay, so everybody needs to come, get in line, try what you're doing. Cheers. I'll be back. We'll see you <laughs>